our new guest, guest of press conference is sisters Polgar, Polgar sisters, uh, Sofia, uh, Susan and Judith. And uh, Sofia arrived just recently to the Olympiad. And my uh, first question to Judith actually, probably you know that it, it was a surprise for you when you saw her today or you, you were expecting her. Well, actually it was uh, absolutely a surprise. Uh, my husband and Susan was uh, working behind uh, my back and uh, it was uh, actually it was much nicer that it was a surprise so I'm incredibly happy. Yeah. Is it often you are um, gathering uh, during some chess events or, or it happened uh, only um, during this Olympiad? Is it often you go together to the same events after so many years? Uh, well, uh, we live in different places, Susan in the United States, Sophie in Israel. I'm living in Hungary, so it's uh, not a very uh, common occasion, but definitely yearly we meet in Hungary. This year we're going to have the sixth uh, chess day already with the three of us, so each year for sure we're gathering together there. And uh, well, we are trying to catch opportunities, see this one, to get together. Yes. So, so okay, I would like to ask you, how do you find the Olympiad and uh, what are your impressions of playing hall of this area and uh, about this meeting, of course, with your sister? Well, I'm incredibly happy to be here. Incredibly happy to be here, obviously, and to see my sisters, first of all. But it's also nice to be here in this setup that I haven't been in about 15 years in the Chester Olympiad. And, I mean, 15 uh, years already. Yeah, it's been a while. So it's all very modern and um, a little bit different than it used to be. It's, it's very nice. Thank you. Uh, Susan, what about your impressions? I mean, now you all of you together, what are you going to do? How do you want to spend this evening? <laughs> well, we haven't made up our mind yet, but we are very happy to be all three together and uh, we'll cook something out. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, do we have questions? Maybe some journalists I see they started together now. Um, microphone? Oh, yes. Thank you. Yes. I would like to ask uh, Judith Bolger about her game today and about the match against Russia. Well, it was a very tense match. This was uh, our first match where we played against really high uh, top players. And actually it was a very big change uh, to play uh, against nearly 2,800 player. Well, for me, uh, the Berlin uh, opening was pretty much expected from Karyakin as it's his uh, main repertoire nowadays. And uh, we had previously had this line uh, two years ago. I made a draw in the Olympiad Huntiman Sisk and uh, I managed to win in the World Cup last time. But this time I chose another line and uh, it was roughly equal, but then I gave a small chances that he might uh, he was able to play on a little bit, but he didn't really have uh, too much. Unfortunately, the match we lost, Amashi lost uh, against Grischuk, but uh, Leko had a very nice game against Kramnik, so actually it was, uh, I'm sure, for the Russian captain, it was not an easy day again. <laughs> but uh, after all, we lost, so it's, it's not a good day from this point of view. And what about sisters? Did you follow the match today? Did you watch the game of uh, you did today, Susan and Sophie? Yes, I did, and uh, I saw that it was a very close game all throughout the game with symmetrical bone structures. So for a long time I predicted that as soon as move 31 comes around, the game may end, yeah, yeah, yeah. even though it went a bit longer than that. Yes, Sophia, did you manage to watch the game today? or? Yeah, I managed to, to see the second part of the game, and uh, actually, when I got here around um, 5 o'clock, I was very optimistic. I thought I mean, we might even get the Russians. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but unfortunately... It's not so easy. Some questions? Mm -hmm. I would ask, like to ask uh, Sophia and Susan, uh, you're not active players anymore. Can you expect to see you back in the playing arena in some near future? I'm, I'm not so sure. I'm very involved with chess promotion and organization and I work for Texas for Webster University and run a chess program there and I, we have a great university program, educational as well as the chess program at the same time, so I'm very busy with that, so I don't foresee it in the foreseeable future at least. 
Um, and we also know uh, that uh, Judith is working with um, um, media now and uh, she made uh, her own website and also um, the, we are expecting a new book of her to come here to Ellen, but can you tell us a little bit more about it? Well, uh, this last year more or less more, like one and a half year ago I started to work on uh, a series which is called Judith Polgar Teaches Chess and the first volume is How I Beat Fish's Record. So it will cover uh, my, based uh, on my game since age six, since really the beginning, including training games and, uh, and old memories, including chess memories and emotional memories, and it will cover until 91. Uh, I hope it's going to be able to see it here in the bookstore, but actually I would really like to hold it in my hand myself because it's my small baby now. I was working uh, many months on that and uh, I'm really looking forward uh, also how people will like it. I, I hope if they like it only half as much as I enjoy driving it, then I think it's, it's okay. I'm happy with it. So when you, you have it, probably you can come back here and show us this book again to the media. We hope yeah, it's going to happen during this Olympiad. And uh, do we have some other questions now? Uh, so. I think there are no questions, so we are finishing our press conference. Thank you for coming. Thank you.